Domkop nearly collapsed our account. Let us go and build the strong structures of the EFF. We must have branches, we must have strong regions, because for us to take power, we rely on strong structures on the ground. We must make sure that we are disciplined, because for us to be where we are now is because of discipline. Many organizations died before us. But in the EFF who are still alive, five years down the line, why? Anyone who asks you for secret, tell them we are still here because of discipline. High discipline, high morale is what kept us here. When they tried to destroy the EFF, we showed them the door. We said to them, in the EFF, we don't want people who are ill-disciplined. And let me tell you, we are proud to have expelled those who wanted to hijack the revolution. Look at them today. The same people who wanted to destroy the EFF, they are no longer smoking Nyaupe. They are smoking Wunga. They are well done the time they were in the EFF. Look at them. You will be proud of your leaders that our leaders acted decisively on these criminals. We were going to have Wunga smokers here as our leaders. People who are scared, very scared of water because Wunga and water don't mix. Yeah, in the EFF, we require discipline. And we are going to make sure that as we go forward, we need and we maintain discipline. Fellow fighters, education is free. Education is going to be more free under the government of the EFF. Student Command continue to lead us in the right direction. We are very happy in all universities that are led by the Student Command. In Tefliop, children are getting free food and sanitary pads. At Vet University, the children of the poor are being helped by the EFF-led SRC. We are saying to the student command, comrades, make sure these people who get free education, they pass. They, they must not just say free education and spend too much money in the universities there drinking alcohol and becoming permanent residents in the university. How can you be a resident in the university? You must move. And it starts with you, president of the student command. We want to see you graduating and graduation after graduation. You must lead by example. You can't be defeated by Godrich Gardier. A 50-year-old man who graduates a year after a year after a year. We want leaders who love school. We want leaders who make education fashionable. In the EFF, we don't compete with the names of the jeans who are wearing or the sneakers. We compete with how many qualifications do you have? We don't want drunkards here. We don't want to be led by matriculous people here. Zuma showed you how matriculous people behave. That dumb cop nearly collapsed our country. If EFF was not there, that matriculous would have finished it. Please, young people, go to school. Education is free. And we call upon the Department of Higher Education to give the results to all students who have passed, even if they are owing, they must be given the result because their debt was cancelled by good performance. We must reward good performance. Those who fail, Peter, including those who are getting free education now, they must pay. They must pay. We can't be paying money here for Tom Corpse. You must know that when you enter that university, 
We are going to invest money in you. And when you fail, it's a wasteful expenditure. And wasteful expenditure is punishable. You shall pay. Don't waste the taxpayer's money. Go to university not to have fun. Go there, work, work hard. And leave that university. Create space for another African child. Because we want more graduates in the villages and in the townships. I don't understand why we have not stopped universities until now, President of the Student Command. Because these people said they are giving us free education. Then they stopped paying for meals. Children are not eating their university. They have stopped paying for books. They have stopped paying for accommodation, especially for those who stay outside the universities. They have stopped paying for transport of those who are staying outside the university. We must say to this ANC government, when you thought you were bluffing by telling us you are giving us free education, then you will know who we are. We want free education for real. Not the meek mouse arrangement we see now. Our children must get food, and not just food, healthy food. And there must be meat in that food. Because there is no food here without meat here. And proper meat. And enough meat. Because you said you are giving us free education. We want books. Pay for our books. It can be free if we are paying for our books. It can be free if we have to pay registration fee. We must go to NSFAS and demand that every student who is under NSFAS, they are dead and their monies must be paid. Because that money doesn't belong to the ANC. It's our money. It must be spent on our children. Isuela, 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 Isuela,